We have now to debit investment in uh, AA company and credit to investment income for the share of uh, uh, SS company in the net income of AA company. So we have 432,000. Still on December 31, 2004, we debit to investment income and credit to investment in AA company for the amortization of your allocated excess of inventory, equipment, building, and your bonds payable. As you can see, the amount of 252000 being the allocated excess uh, as we have computed previously. Thus, uh, in requirement number three, in relation to number two, uh, determine in letter A, investment in joint venture, SS company, and investment income, equity in net earnings. So we have now your uh, investment in joint venture as uh, the account is uh, needed for the investment in joint venture, now the investment of uh, AA or investment of SS company, okay? So what are now the uh, amounts to be uh, used for? Uh, first, we are going to uh, debit the investment account at cost on January 1, uh, 20X4. Or January 1, uh, X4, we have the amount of investment and it's debited for 2,016,000. On uh, December 31 or in uh, December 31 X4, again the share in the net income of AA company when we debited to investment in AA company for 432 so the total debit of two million uh, one hundred eighty-five thousand uh, there, no two hundred. That's the total supposed to be. You have the balance on December thirty-one X four. After deducting from the debits, you are now deducting dividends. That's uh, dividends uh, for. Uh, from AA company, uh, 216,000. That was the entry in number two. And we also credit for 6,000 for the amortization. So we have uh, the computation of dividends is 720,000 times 30%. 30, not 80%, 30. That's why you get 216,000. Now, if you add the credit of uh, 262,800, that's the total of the credit. And the debits, total of 2 million uh, here. Two million four hundred forty-eight. Two million four hundred forty-eight. Uh, since we have the total, we now deduct, and the difference is equal to two million one hundred eighty-five thousand uh, two hundred. That's the balance of your investment in joint venture, 2,185,200. And requirement B, investment income. So investment income, we have the credit of 432,000 and the debit of 46,800. So the balance is 385. 1,200. Okay? If you want to check on the correctness of the balance of your investment in joint venture, 
So we have now the common stock of AA company. And then we add retained earnings beginning. We add net income. And then uh, we deduct dividends. So we have now the uh, uh, difference uh, of 1,800,000. And then it's positive. We add it to the common stock. The total book value of the stockholders' equity of AA on December 31 is 5,400,000. And then you multiply that by 30%. That's the book value of the interest in joint venture. And then we are going to uh, add the unamortized uh, excess, 30% thereof. We have the difference of 205,000. 200 and finally your goodwill investment in joint venture using the equity method is 2,185,200 as uh, evidenced by your T account. Now the uh, last trade problem here so far is uh, the longest among all. Uh, let's try to to work or to answer this before we move on to the multiple choice uh, problems and theory. Again, there are so many. I hope you have started uh, solving them. Now, a uh, problem eight is just a continuation of problem seven. It's just a continuation of problem seven. Uh, preparing consolidated financial statements by using the cost model. Assuming the same information in problem seven, but the joint venture prepares consolidated financial statements. Requirement number one, prepare the schedule of determination and allocation of excess. Uh, earlier in problem seven, we also had the preparation of the schedule of determination and allocation of excess. Now this time, we also prepare uh, another one. Okay, so we have now the schedule of uh, determination and allocation of excess by using uh, the cost model no? for problem number eight. Uh, date of acquisition, once again, on January 1, uh, 20x4 when we have the amount of 2,016,000. Then we deduct the book value of the stockholders' equity of Sun of 1,080,000. That's uh, 30%. And the retained earnings equal to uh, 324,000. So that gives us 1,404,000. The allocated excess of cost over book value is 612,000. 612,000. And then we did that. The adjustments, again, uh, the same figures as what we had in problem seven, except again, Increase in bonds payable is to be corrected. Increase in bonds payable is only 36,000. Okay, so you're over under valuation of assets and liabilities is correct at 252,000. So that your goodwill is still for 300. 60,000. Then we have the uh, summary of the excess 
care of uh, 840,000, the same with that under the problem seven. Then for the amortization adjustments, still we have the same uh, amount of 46,800 as shown here. It's similar to problem number seven. Now in requirement number two, prepare entries in the books of the joint venture in 20x4 in relation to its investment in joint venture, assuming that the joint venture does prepare consolidated financial statements using the cost model. When the cost model is used, only two journal entries are recorded by SS company during 20x4 related to its investment in AA company. Entry one to record the, the investment. So we now debit two investment in SS company. Uh, Kaina debit in joint venture, no? This time we have investment in SS company for 2,016,000. Uh, that's the amount of the investment and we credit to cash for 2,016,000. Second entry will be to debit cash of 216,000. That's a uh, credit to dividend income. So 720,000, the amount of dividend, and then you multiply that by 30%. We credit to dividend income, but under the equity method, we credit to investment account. Now, as stated, there are only two entries affecting uh, investment because for any share in net income, we have no entry under the cost method. Okay? On the books of business company, the 720 dividends paid was recorded as debit to dividends and credit to cash. Sa so books is debit to cash, credit to dividend income, only for 216,000. The dividend speed or declared account is temporary account that's close to retained earnings at year end. An alternative is to debit outright, no? Retained earnings directly when dividends are paid or declared. No entries are made on the parent's books to depreciate, amortize, or write off the portion of the allocated excess that expires during 20x4, unlike under the equity method. Thus, in uh, requirement number three, in relation to number two, determine investment in joint venture, uh, is, is company, investment income, dividend income. In uh, requirement number three, the investment balance, equity in net earnings, and dividend income in the books of SS company investment account is still with the same balance. Uh, that's your debit when uh, SS invested. So debit investment, credit to cash. And for dividend income, debit cash, credit, dividend income. Under the cost model, there's no entry to record the share in the income of the uh, AA company. So in other words, it's only under the equity method. In letter C, the dividend income for 20x4, now debit to cash and credit to dividend income for 216000 Requirement number four, in relation to number two and number three, in the consolidated financial statements of the joint venture, determine 
investment in joint venture uh, and investment income and dividend income for 20x4. Investment in AA company now for 2 million. 185,200, uh, that's the uh, total investment in uh, the previous under the equity method. Dividend income is zero under the equity method. Investment income there had a balance of 385,200. Incidentally, the following entries are needed to arrive at the balances presented above. Uh, in the consolidation work paper, the schedule of determination and allocation of excess presented above provides complete guidance in the worksheet, eliminating entries on January 1, uh, 20X4. That's in relation to numbers two and three above so we have now investment in aa company for the share in dividends and credit to uh investment income that's for the share i mean in net income then debit to investment income and credit to investment in aa for the amortization of the excess and the uh, record amortization and uh, also to uh, close by debiting dividend income for 216,000 and credit investment in AA company. We are now trying to prepare the elimination entry whereby our dividend income is eliminated. So debit to in a dividend income 216,000 and to credit investment in AA. Investment in AA. Thus, investment balance in dividend income in the consolidated financial statements is investment in joint venture uh, AA company. 2,016,000 and then we add share in net income. We are going to deduct 216,000 for uh, Baliskad. 216,000 is for the dividends and 46,000 for the amortization. And then for dividend income, we finally close dividend income and uh, investment income now is only at 385,200. Uh, note that the consolidated financial statements of the joint venture, the dividend income account is eliminated, but the carrying amount of the investment in joint venture and investment income are not eliminated, but are shown as separate line item uh, by the way class uh, your test this uh, afternoon remind kuliwata especially for those who entered late we are going to have the test at uh no 7 7 10 p.m 7 10 p.m you can just open the canvas at 7.10 and uh, I'll give you through all false only. Isa lang ka type. So that means that the three sections will be taking only one type of exam. And uh, I will give it at 7.10 this evening. There is no problem with the uh, evening class kay amugid na ila schedule i'll give the test uh, at the end however the afternoon class the 3:30 to 5:30 should uh, just take the exam at 7:10 uh, anyway uh, i 
i-YouTube ko na lang ini class kay daw kadamo damo na gid I have to uh, deal discuss kon pwede lang some of the multiple choice problems but if not then we will just I will just give you the uh, what's this the letter answers. Now, if you have questions in your computations, meaning you really have to compute, no? And if you have questions, you raise them on uh, Monday. Okay, on Monday, uh, before we go to the next module, that's module number 12, I'm going to entertain questions with regards to the multiple choice problems okay now let me give you the answers to the multiple choice uh, problems uh, we have a lot of this numbers 1 to 120 and then for the theory uh, we have 1 to 47 okay now, please uh, pay attention. I am not going to post this in the canvas. So, meaning you really have to copy. And then, after this, we end our class. It's already uh, 11, uh, 18. Anyway, a multiple choice problems. We now begin with number one. Number one, boy. Number two, boy. Number three, C. Four, A. Five, dog. Six, A. Seven, C. Eight, a nine a ten boy eleven boy twelve dog thirteen boy fourteen dog fifteen dog sixteen boy seventeen c 18 C, 19 boy, 20 boy, 21 A, 22 A, 23 A, 24 dog, 25 C, 26 C, Twenty seven boy, twenty eight C, twenty nine A, thirty A, thirty one A, thirty two boy, thirty three C, thirty four C, thirty five C. Third six A, third seven A, thirty eight dog, thirty nine A, forty boy, forty one C, forty two boy, forty three A, forty four A, forty five A. 46 C 47 A 48 A 49 C 50 A 51 boy 52 C 53 dog 54 dog 
55C, 56C, 57 dog, 58A, 59 dog, 60A, 61A, 62 dog, 63 dog, 64A, 65 boy, 66 boy, 67 boy, 68 boy, 69, uh, ignore the problem because there are missing uh, data. So 69, ignore because there are missing data. 70, 71, 72, boy. 70, 71, 72, boy. 73A, 74C, 75 dog, 76 dog, 77 boy, 78C, 79C, 80C, 81. The amount is uh, 315,000. That's for number 81. Anong uh, letter answer ina? Number 81. The amount is 315,000. So letter C. Ang 81. 82 C. 83 dog. 84 A, 85 C, 86 boy, 87 C, 88 boy, 89 C, 90 boy, 91 C, 92 boy, 93A, 94A, 95A. But in number 95, you have to make correction. Sa 95 na class, correct? Correction. Assume the facts in question 94. Assume the facts in question 94 instead of 95. In 96, the answer is A. In 96, the answer is A, but the correction is assume the facts in question 94. Assume the facts in question 94 instead of 95. So 97A, 98 boy, 99 dog, 100 dog. In 100, there is a correction. In 100, take note, my correction dira. Correction has an investment balance on January 1, 20, X5. Has an investment balance on January 1, 20, X5 amounting to 500,000. Amounting to 500,000.
has an investment balance in January 1, 20X5 amounting to 500,000. 101 boy, 101 boy, 102 boy, 103C, now 104C, 105C. There is a correction in 105. Hambalya from previous problem number 67 to 69. That should be numbers 103 to 105. That should be numbers 103 to 105. 106 A, 107 Dog, 108 C, 109 Dog, 110 A, 111 C, 112 A, 113 C, 114 C, 115 Boy, 116 Dog, 117 C, 118 Boy, 119 C. 119 C. 120 boy. Okay. Let's go to the multiple choice theory. 1, 2, 4, 7. Number 1 C. Number 2 dog. 3 C. 4A, 5C, 6A, 7C, 8A, 9Boy, 10A, 11A, 12Boy, 13Boy, 14A, 15C, 16Dog, 17Boy, 18C, 19C, 20A, 21C, 22A, 23A, 24 dog, 25 dog, 26A, 27 boy, 28 boy, 29 boy, 30 dog, 31 dog, 32 boy, 33 boy, 33 boy, 34 dog, 35A, 36A, 37 boy, 38A, 39 boy, 40 boy. Mom, <laughs> 41 boy, 42C, 43C, 44A, 45 dog, 46C, 47A. Excuse, ma'am. Yes. Sulit sulit ang number, ma'am. Number. Ano nga nag sulit? Thirty after ka thirty four nag thirty liwa thirty one ka. Aliwaton ko ha. Oh oh. Thirty dog, thirty one dog, thirty two boy, thirty three boy, thirty four dog, thirty five a, thirty a. Thirty pa na. Ha? Duwa, duwa ka bilog ang ano daan ma'am ang number Oliwaton ko duha da liwaton ko lang Oliwaton ko ha ay wala ang nalawag ha ang nalawag mo ma'am 30 ang sa first na nga 30 ma'am or ang ika second nga 30 ma'am ang problem kay duha da duwa ang 30 31 32 33 kag 34 ma'am ay ti anyway isa lang ni next meeting tanaon ko ha tawag ko lang 30 dog, 31 dog, 32 boy, 33 boy, 34 dog, 35A, 36A, 37 boy, 38A, 39 boy, 40 boy, 41 boy, 42C, 43C, 44A, 45 dog, 46C, 47A. Ano to ang inyong question? 
Ang sa ang ginghambal mga 30 bala man kung sa diin siya ayun ma'am kung ang sa first ni ma'am or ah, ang kay ang um, sa book uh, pil, duha ka bilog ang 30 no Pila uh, uh, ma'am ang bilog ang question ma'am ma sa 30 ma'am oo oo as ta 34 ma'am tag duha duha 38 ma'am duha man ma'am oo sige lang ikuha niyo lang kay itanaon ko anay ha sa multiple lang ako da nag ano si Yurina so take note uh, up to okay sa Monday lang I'll try to review and uh, find out kung ano na ang nag-refer siya so anyway you review work on these uh, problems and questions for Monday I'm going to entertain questions sa Monday na lang uh, and uh, hopefully we can move to uh, module number 12 sa kung ano da nga adlaw eh. Monday or Tuesday man. So, okay. Any concerns? Class? Wala na? Okay. It's uh, some